morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Happy Tuesday, fam. Let's go to God's Word. I'm in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3. Paul is talking to the churches, and he says this, But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself. I want to fast forward to verse 5, where Paul says, Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time. Some of y'all are too young to remember the good old days, but in the good old days, there was a TV show, uh, and the the, the feature was a a family court, or it was like court TV, and it was the first of its kind. The, 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 The star of the show was Judge Wapner, and Judge Wapner was a judge with the black robe on, and he had the gavel, and he would just kind of levy his decisions on all these disputes and these conflicts and he just had this power and this influence and it was a really cool show Um, but if we're not careful we can show up in our relationships or we can show up in our marriages or we can show up as parents and grandparents or we can show up as co-workers or as neighbors or as family members with a Judge Wapner spirit who am I talking to? How many of us are sometimes finding ourselves guilty of pronouncing judgment instead of practicing discernment? What Paul is teaching here is that there's a a difference between how you discern something, but whether or not you judge something. That's the whole point. The word judge is the Greek word anakrino. And anakrino, on the one hand, it means to just critically examine something, which is fine. But more pertinently, in this particular case, verse 3, it means to find fault with someone. Paul is saying to the Corinthians, be careful when you show up in your relationships and when you show up in your churches, and when you show up in your places of work, and when you show up with your kids, only looking to find fault. Paul is saying only, only one judge is righteous, and that's God. A lot of times we show up with our arms folded and our lips poked out and we refuse to even engage or go deep or be happy or show love until we feel a little safer by finding the proposed purported fault that we have in people. And then when they mess up, we're like, see, I knew it. You weren't nothing. I knew you were a hypocrite the whole time. And that is no way to live your life. So much so that Jesus says in the Bible, judge not lest you be judged. I know that I'm guilty of so many situations in my life where I'm starting off with judgment instead of friendship. I'm starting off with judgment instead of humility. I'm starting off with judgment instead of vulnerability. And at the end of the day, that is not the believer's way. If there's somebody in your life where you've got a Judge Wapner spirit, God says, turn to me and let me be the judge and you be the friend. Let God be the judge and you be the dad. Let God be the judge and you be the spouse. Let God be the judge and you be the daughter. You smell what I'm stepping in? Judgeful spirit is not of God. It only belongs to God. It is not of his people. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.